Hello everybody, so for this week's video we just have a quick update really. Um, it's kind of a bit of a tradition on this channel, kind of about this time of year, midsummer-ish. We do an update on how the fodder beat is going for the year. Um, we always get questions, I don't show it a great deal. And uh, once we drill it, um, we spray it and we kind of pretty much leave it alone. I try and halfway through the season, just update you on how it's going. Um, but this year obviously we have some wheat as well in the ground so we are starting out in the wheat field we sprayed the wheat six weeks ago now maybe yeah about six weeks ago we sprayed the wheat uh, with the herbicide and again we've not really shown it so this video is a bit of a catch-up on both crops um, i'm only covering the wheat that is here at home i'm not going to go uh, to the rented ground just because it looks the same um, in fact there was, I think there's more problems in this wheat here than what we've got on the other land. So we can cover everything just by in this field. We uh, have had the agronomist out this week to look at both crops. And uh, we were a little bit concerned about the wheat. Uh, because as you see here, we have got some discoloration of the leaves um, on some of them. Um, and that is actually, uh, and that is a little bit worse on the other fields, the other three fields. Um, but this, this isn't far behind um, with regards to losing some colour on the end of the leaves. So the agronomist came out, he was coming out for the beet anyway, and he went over this. Um, you know, we said kind of what is, prob what is going on? Is there something happening that we need to be looking at? Um, and he said, it's drought stress. Your wheat needs water. Um, and that is what makes the end of the leaves turn off yellow now i should have asked him but i didn't think um, if we get enough rain will them leaves come back or are they that or are they dying now i don't know that i should have asked and i just didn't think to so if you know leave us a comment is that are these leaves that are turning yellow with a bit of red on them or are they now had it or will they recover leave us a comment so yes as you can see it is a nice even crop it is reasonably clean with regards to weeds then if we go out, look right in the base of the crop, there's a few little, few little weeds in the bottom. But pretty much if you look across the field, all you see is clean ears of wheat. Um, those few little weeds in the bottom are not going to cause any issues at all. Um, we'll get the drone out in a minute and go and see, you know, see what it looks like from the air. And I can see it, the camera's not picking it up but there are some issues at the top of this field. But we'll talk about that in a minute and when we get the drone up. So we do have a few little bits of, of grass coming in. Um, it's not enough to be an issue. Just a bit of rye grass. I think there is a little patch here actually, but as we go away, um, it becomes cleaner. Um, ears are fully emerged and flower it I believe this is called flowering these little polleny bits that is that is a wheat flower but like we said a bit ago now is the time we need the rain to fill the ears and we have we have had or we were forecasted this week just gone to have a showery week um, and we didn't really we had some spits and spots of rain but it was almost as soon as it landed it would dry it off again so we are still in desperate need of some rain. Um, so the soil, you can see how dry it is. Just no moisture at all. And now, now is the crit, you know, once the ears emerge, now is the critical time for that moisture to fill them. And um, nothing's in the forecast. So, right, let's get the drone out. We will fly over, see what it looks like from the air get to go and take a look at the problems we have at the top end of the field okay so here we are flying over the wheat and now if you remember when we drilled um, one of the things I said at the time we don't have tramline in capability on the drill and so the sprayer just put the tram lines in just by driving um, and I'm actually very surprised how little damage the sprayer does 
um, it is on very narrow row crop wheels um, and from the air you can clearly see where it's driven but really when you're walking through the crop there isn't a great deal of damage to see but you can definitely see a nice even crop of wheat and I'm really pleased with how it's looking pleased with how it's done so all the inputs it's had is it has had some nitrogen straight nitrogen fertilizer um, back in May it has had one dose of herbicide which we saw on the video you know we filmed that um, what I don't know I don't remember the chemicals but they were uh, on the video and it has had one dose of fungicide and does seem to be a very clean crop the agronomist was pleased and with with the look of it from you know one herbicide and one fungicide treatment but what we'll do we'll get turned around and we will go and find the problem and you might have just seen it so it's only in this field it's not in the three fields that are away from home and we're just approaching it now or one of them now there's a lot of little clumps of thistles in this field um, there's one there it's kind of restricted to the top end of the field but you can see there there is a there is a few and they're uh, not going to cause a massive problem at combine in time but the combine will certainly know it's it's going through them when it goes through those uh, when they when it comes to that lump of thistles. Now, whether the spray we used doesn't deal with th thistles, or whether the wrong you know it wasn't didn't have the right chemical in there to take them out, I don't know. But whatever, that is our that seems to be our only problem. And uh, other than that, I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Um, no estimations on yield yet it all depends on rain within the next week or two I would imagine um, you know if we don't get it fairly shortly the grain fill is just not going to be there well we'll just back up a little bit and we've just gone over a little bit of a thin patch there um, that area there was a muck heap um, and we obviously we spread it before we plowed it but I did notice I came out this field just as it was just as a crop was emerging like my kind of been up 10 days um, and I could see the exact outline of that muck heap um, because birds had pulled it out it had germinated but birds had pulled out a lot of a lot of the seedlings in that immediate area why they didn't spread beyond the muck heap when they were pulling out the seedlings I don't know well they were obviously trying to dig out something that was live worms or whatever was living in that area and did a lot of damage to that that little area there and that's obviously evident now you know, the amount of plants that we lost has created a thin patch but nothing we can do about that anyway so there we go that is a full wheat update I guess the next time we see this um, we will be combining Hopefully there won't be any more disasters to happen between now and then. Um, so we will move on now, go on and visit the fodder beet crop. So here we go, we have landed in the fodder beet field. Um, pulling out weeds. This was drilled in early May, I forget the date, but there was a video, as always. Um, and I have to say, I am very very pleased with how this is looking if you look down the rows on the headland it is very nearly meeting not quite you can just make out the rows um, but it is looking tip top um, so this was grass last year um, it had some muck and some slurry onto the onto the field um, plowed and power hard I think yeah we power hard it twice actually because it was dry that was it it was too dry when we power hard it over the first time um, but the second time we got a nice enough seed bed um, and then we came in and drilled uh, in early May 
and it has come on very well um, it looks it looks clean at the moment but there are some weeds coming through in the bottom like this um, I get every time we harvest I say what a mess it is you know it always it always looks nice this time of year um, but come harvest these these fat hen and stuff will be sticking up above the crop and making it look a mess um, and I get quite a few comments from other growers on the videos that say they struggle too you know they controlling the weeds uh, is not that easy in beet um, but it looks beautiful this time of year so we'll just make the most of that until the weeds <laughs> until the weeds come up through the rows anyway I'm just trying to find a we are having a little bit of a problem in the field this year. I'm just trying to find an area of it. And there was one at the top corner where I came into the field. Um, we always leave a gap in the centre um, to make it easier harvesting. So that's why that's there. And I can't find there we go there's a little there's a tiny area um, we've got gaps and you can see the, the beet were there um, and they've been rooted out some it is destroying our crop knocking them out of the rows uh, and as soon as the root as soon as the roots disturbed they die off so that that is our biggest issue for this year um, I just hope it doesn't get any worse and um, we are left with some to harvest. So inputs so far this crop has had, like I said before ploughing, it had the muck and it had the slurry. Um, it never, we don't ever put any nitrogen fertiliser or any, any artificial fertiliser on. Um, it has had one spray, one herbicide spray, and which has worked quite well. And it does look pretty clean in the bottom, but like I said, there is, there is the odd weed coming up. Um, there was talk of going through again with some more with, with, with the same herbicide again um, but looking at the leaves you know how they are very almost meeting over the rows you might end up doing more damage than good by going through this late um, agronomist said you know if we get some rain and brings on a new flush of weeds potentially then it'd be worth going through but we're a week on from when he came the, the rows are very nearly meeting um, and we've still not had any rain so it's unlikely we're going to go through again um, there's another one hooked out there look they obviously whatever it is hooking them out hooks them out eats the root and um, that's the end of our end of our plant um, so like in the wheat we do have a few patches of thistles in the beet as well so there we go that is the beet update like i said it's not you know just a quick update there's not a great deal to say really um it's doing okay it's a little bit thin here a little bit of a stony patch um but happy with how it's going come come november when we're harvesting um it's looking promising at the minute obviously it depends what weather comes the rest of the summer um but beet does tend to cope almost whatever the weather Whatever, whatever we get, we still get a decent crop of beet up till now, normally. So, we'll leave it at that. Right, so there we go. Like I said, not an exciting video this week. Just one of them updatey type of things. But both crops looking good. Um, and uh, excited for harvest of both crops when it comes around at the right time of year. I will leave it at that for now. So I will say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully something more interesting will be coming next week. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.